yourself. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to iCode. Today we're gonna learn how to get HTML content of any website into our Xcode project. For this particular example, I'm using example.com. To view HTML content of any website, what you need to do is right click on that particular website, go to view page source and this is it. This is the HTML content of the, of the website that we have just seen, the example.com. Now let's see how we are gonna get this HTML content into our Xcode project. Open up Xcode, create a new project. Next, and let's name it HTML hmm, Grabber. Next, and create uh, it on desktop. Go to View Controller and in view detailer function let's create a variable URL we know that it's of type string https www.example.com that's it now we need to create a task equal to URL session dot shared dot data task double click on this now URL session is something like opening up your browser on your phone that's it now URL is URL data we're gonna get data response and error response and error now you know that you have a website with this particular domain example.com what if the website is something like example blah 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 dot com you know there's no website right with this particular domain so for that reason we're gonna say if error not equal to nil that is if there is an error print error else you know that you got the data and let's create new variable HTML content equal to ns string ns string data with encoding we need to encode it to view it in HTML and data is nothing we got the data and the encoding would be string dot encoding dot utf8 dot raw value that's it now you got the data and now you can just print it print the data and after creating the task you need to resume it don't forget you need to resume the task task dot resume let's run it on iPhone 5s uh, we got an error here I think we need force unwrap it let's unwrap it Mm, that's it guys like let's see what happens come on Also, I'm gonna say this thing to you. I'm gonna upload a lot of videos on Swift. Also, other parts of coding like C++, Python, Big Data, and hacking too. Okay, sorry. Now we got the data as 1270 bytes. Here we need to print HTML data, not the data. HTML content content let's run it again and just see so what was the telling yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload many videos frequently like daily maybe on C++ Python and etc many more 
so don't forget to subscribe and here it is guys the html content of this website that we have just seen it's just quite equal to the same thing that we have seen here so that's it you made it congrats and see you in another video don't forget to subscribe have fun coding goodbye